What's up guys, I just want to talk about a few things that have been bothering me really quick. Uh, I won't take too much of your time. I just want to get this out there because I think it's important to try to understand this and try to elaborate more. I want to read some of your comments. I want to hear what you guys have to say about this. But first and foremost, let's talk to the people who are going to become cops in the future. If you're thinking about becoming a cop, let's talk about you know what you give up to become a cop. You know, first and foremost, just know that they're going to do extensive research on you. They're going to go as far as talking to your neighbors, where you grew up, talking to friends and family. Does that constitute any civil rights violations? I mean, do you guys even care? You know, you guys want to become cops and, and receive a pension at the end of the day. And that's probably why you guys will back the blue and not do anything or say anything that will discredit the departments or whatnot it's actually a policy for you guys not to step in when another cop is doing something bad that is a massive massive problem a lot of people say if you want to create change why don't you just become a cop well there's a lot of times that we see videos where somebody tries to step in and the person that tries to step in uh, when they when they see a cop violating somebody's rights or just being aggressive and if they try to stop it they're the ones that are reprimanded not the violent cop or not the bad cops so good cops are always being pushed out and that's why you don't see uh, any cops stepping in when bad cops are doing something so i think that is important let me know what you guys think about that another thing i want to talk about is body cameras it is extremely hard to get body cam footage i have been trying in california for a long time to get body cam footage for certain different things and it's just you're just not allowing us to get it they're giving us the runaround and i think this is a crying shame let's talk about the company axon that uh that provides these uh body cams to the police departments nationwide axon is a company there's uh only two uh places where the company actually um the how to say it, their headquarters are at there's one in uh in Arizona and there's one in Seattle as well and uh, I think that this is important and maybe somebody needs to audit these places as well it's been an uphill battle just to have cops to wear the body cameras and now it's being an uphill battle for us to get those body cam footage a lot of times the departments say unless you're a, a part of the incident you can't request it or you need a subpoena to get this body cam footage or whatnot Many of you have said in the comment section that cops, you know, their body cameras should be live streamed so that we can see their behavior at all times. I get that. I understand that. I actually agree with that. I do also understand that there are moments where, you know, pe cops go inside people's private homes and stuff like that. And a lot of stuff does need to be redacted, you know, for privacy reasons. But at the same time, they're just making it so difficult for us to get body cam footage and I think that is a crying shame. There are a lot of channels that are coming out and they're putting uh, police videos out there and they're mostly like, you know, pro cop channels in. Makes me wonder how are these channels popping up, you know, so fast. They're putting out body camera footage, they're getting hundreds of thousands of views. Are these people, uh, are they cops? Are they, um, are they lawyers? Is that, is this how they're able to access all of this body camera footage or are they just like somebody who truly knows and understand uh, how to get you know these body camera footages not just from one city or town but it seems like they're getting it from everywhere why is it hard for auditors or you know people to try to get body cam footage where cops actually screw up they're just they're they're really trying to hold on to that and uh you know I've, i left a community post asking you guys if you wanted a job to get me some body camera footage you know, keep e emailing me at recordpolicenow@gmail.com. We'll work something out. I'll pay you for some body camera footage. I want to highlight cops uh, behaving a certain way. You know, patterns of police, because you know they always act like they can do no wrong. When it goes to court, the judges are always on the side of the cops, like if they tell no lies, and and it's just uh, you know, body camera says you know the truth. And I think that, you know, from all the stuff that we have been able to acquire, we've been able to uncover patterns of police behavior. And if you have videos of yourself and your interactions with police and you request that body camera footage, you know, if you guys want us to highlight it, send it to copy your links and send it to recordpolicenow at gmail.com. 
give us as much information as possible we'll try to highlight that for you guys so yeah like i said it's 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 very stressful and you know it just it upsets me to find out that it's an uphill battle just to get body camera footage especially in california one more thing before i let you guys go there's a book uh written by uh, Jason Bassler from Police to Police and uh, the Free Thought Project website. My assistant actually published this little book. You know, it's more for our children. It's more for like uh, our our friends, kids. You know, if you guys would like to purchase this book, you know, it's, it's basically trying to teach the younger people their rights. And I think that is extremely important. You know, when I go to, when I went to the stores to buy Christmas gifts for my grandkids, this, uh, this past Christmas the whole time I was shopping I couldn't help but realize there really is nothing that you know helps us teach our kids their rights there's a bunch of toys that just a lot of them are meaningless uh, you know there are some toys that I think that will teach their kids like the ABCs and one two threes and all that stuff but there really is nothing that teaches the youth you know their natural rights video games they're not teaching kids the rights and you know it's just I believe it sucks because we're, we're sending our kids out there to Starbucks and to the theaters and, and the uh, football games and sports events and concerts. and We're sending our kids everywhere, but they don't know what their natural rights are. And I think it's important for us to teach kids what their natural rights are so that they're prepared when they get out there on the streets. And uh, once everybody begins to learn what their natural rights are, you will begin to respect other people's rights as well. So... If you guys want to get this book for a friend or family, I'll drop the link in the description and in the pinned comments. You guys can go purchase that. Um, Jason, I'm doing this. For, I don't get nothing out of this book. It, you know, my Jason Bassler, you know, will, you know, make a little profit off of it. Uh, he put the time and effort into it. And I think my assistant will make a little bit off it as well. So with that being said, I want to thank you guys for tuning in and let me know what your thoughts are. Let me know, you know, what you guys think about all of this and uh, give me you know as much ideas as possible that can help us you know send out the message you know for future cops for our youth to get out there and learn their rights um you know I, I try to work with the people and i try to respond to your emails i'm not one of those channels that just ignores the comments and ignores my emails eventually i'll get to you guys so i appreciate you guys a lot we'll see you on the next one peace